Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the OCZ DDR2 PC2 5400 Performance Series Memory. The speed on this memory is 675 MHz DDR2 or PC2 5400 and has a CES of 4 and the complete memory timing of 4, 4, 4 and 12. Now what does DDR and CES mean? DDR stands for double data rate and that means it doubles the bandwidth of the memory by transferring data twice as fast on both the rising and the falling of the clock cycle. CES stands for column access select or column access strobe and that essentially means the number of cycles for the memory to get information and then process that information. Also keep in mind that a lower CES is much better than a higher CES so try and keep the CES as low as possible when overclocking. This memory is dual channel which means better overall memory bandwidth resulting in superior performance. But in order to benefit from this technology, you will need to have a dual channel motherboard. Non-dual channel motherboards do not have two fully independent 64-bit memory controllers, but dual channel boards do, which means they have a 128-bit memory interface. Now they can be installed singly, but obviously the performance will be much less at the same megahertz. Remember, this is DDR2 memory and it does differ from DDR memory in a number of ways. Now let me briefly hit on some of these differences. Well the maximum data rate is different 400 megahertz for DDR versus 667 megahertz for DDR2. The bus frequency 200 versus 333. The DRAM frequency 200 versus 166. The package type for DDR it's TSOP2 and for DDR2 it's FBGA. The voltage is different as well, 2.5 versus 1.8 and the pre-fetch size is different, 2 bits versus 4 bits. And the CS latency will vary quite a bit but in general 2.5 for DDR and 4 for DDR2. The on-die termination is different as well. To eliminate signal noise, DDR uses transistors that are on the motherboard, whereas DDR2 it's on the memory chip. And the off-chip driver calibration on DDR2 memory also increases signal integrity. These 240 pin DDR2 DIMMs look a lot like the 184 pin DDR2 DIMMs. They are approximately the same size, but on the 240 pin DDR2 DIMMs, the notch, which is right here, is closer to the center of the module. And please keep in mind that DDR2 memory is not backward compatible and will only fit in motherboards specifically designed for it. Now let's have a closer look at this memory. Well, they are 240 pin DIMMs with a rated voltage of 1.8. However, they can go up to 2.2. OCZ has what's called EVP, Extended Voltage Protection, on this memory like it does for most of its memory. This memory is unbuffered. It comes with a lifetime warranty and is available in two different kits, a 1 gigabyte and a 2 gigabyte. It also has a mirrored copper heat spacer. This memory performs very well. It's stable, reliable, and highly overclockable. Of course, DDR2 is still very new to the market, 
and not many motherboards out there support it. But if you are in the market for DDR2 memory, you might want to check this out. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go to the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until next time, take care.